What's going on out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back today with a gift cards to friends glitch workaround. Uh, guys, they have patched guns and bunker the old way running into the MOC blue circle and joining a job. Uh, we cannot do that method anymore. You basically can't throw stickies from the cars anymore. So we got a little workaround for you guys. Super easy. Uh, shout out to Fart Crew. Shout out to Macclesfield. Shout out to uh, my friend Deputy also for helping me out. Uh, you know, we're giving me the tips on how to do this and uh, shout out to my boys helping me out in the video BMX and wise All right, so shout out to all those guys. This is really easy Okay, it's a three-person glitch But all of you that say that it's too hard or the steps are too confusing I lay these out as simply as I possibly can I have labels on the top trust me It's not hard. You just have to listen and learn and get good at it. Okay? Don't knock it till you try it, guys. It is super easy. Put your names down in the comments if you need some help. But uh, what you need is you need bunkers, all of you with the same bunker, preferably. That would help out a lot. MOCs with the personal vehicle storage, RHAs or Fagios inside of your MOCs. And if you're doing this as a money glitch, uh, make sure you're giving only Benny's cars and a custom plate on the car. And you want more custom plates to, uh, to change it after you get the car. Okay? So as you can see in the beginning, the main perspective of this tutorial is in the car receiver's perspective, which is mine. I'm getting the car, okay? Car receiver. Now, that's the main screen right now. In the top right, you notice there's something else going on. That's friend two. Friend two, what friend two needs to do is get an RH8 from any garage, doesn't matter. Go to Los Santos Customs and put an ignition bomb on it. Not a remote bomb, this is very important, an ignition bomb, okay? The ignition bomb costs five grand, it's the first option right there. Go ahead and put an ignition bomb. Once you've done that, friend two, drive into your bunker and then invite both of your friends. All right, so as you can see, friend two's gonna drive out now. Go into your bunker, friend two, invite both your friends in there. So now me and BMX are both in Wise's bunker. Wise is friend two in this scenario, all right? So he has already put his ignition bomb on that pink elegy right there. Now, what me and BMX are going to do right here is we are going to start, you know, spamming and using the caddy method. So you see, doesn't matter which one of us do this. We could switch roles if we want, but what we're going to start spamming. Just start pressing Y or triangle. Y's friend two is going to go into a job. He's just going to start up, tighten up a job while we're spamming. We have to keep spamming. Let him know we're in a good rhythm. When he comes back, we got to be spamming or the car will despawn. Okay. So he's going to come back really soon. We just keep spamming the whole time. Make sure you do not stop. He came back from the job now. He's going to go ahead and hop into his car. If it doesn't despawn or he doesn't go outside, we're good. Now this RHA with the ignition bomb is in everyone's bunker. It's in a default bunker, okay? So we have to do this method basically, you know, like twice. We got to get two cars in here, but I'm going to show you where you want to park it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let him know, park it right here. This is where you want to park it and back it up just so it's easy for the person that's going to be getting in it to blow it up later and, you know, easily just hop in. So you want to park it next to the MOC right there. Remember, that is the car with the ignition bomb. That is friend two's main job. Friend two is the ignition bomb guy. So we're letting him know, go ahead and do that. Now we're all going to go run outside. Uh, now the car giver, which is BMX in this, you know, scenario, the car giver is gonna grab his vehicle and he's gonna drive it into his bunker. So you see, we're all running outside right now. We're all getting out of friend two's bunker, all right? So when we're all outside of the bunker, car giver, all right, car giver will get his car that he's giving to me right here. He's gonna be giving me this uh, cyclone right here and he's gonna drive it into his bunker. Once he drives it into his bunker, he's gonna go ahead and send us some invites, all right? So now we're all going to go into friend two's bunker or sorry, car giver's bunker. All right. So we're going to spawn in there momentarily and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get this car glitched in there. All right. The same way we did the RHA, we're just going to get this one glitched in there. So the owner of the car is always the one starting up the job. All right. So here we go. So BMX, um, you know, car giver, he got his, uh, his vehicle in there. Me and Wise now are in his bunker. I'm going to do the caddy part, so I'm just going to go ahead and drive the caddy and I'm going to park it kind of close to him. Remember, adjusting the caddy might help if he's not able to spam on the handle. Just keep adjusting. You want it kind of lined up like the way we got it, alright? So you see, he can spam. Now we're going to go ahead and let the car giver, you know, BMX, we're going to let him know we're spamming. Go ahead and start up tightening up a job. That's why he disappeared right now. So we just got to keep spamming right here. Just chill out in your fur in the caddy. If you're spamming, just keep, you know, keep spamming wire, keep spamming triangle. and. 
Go ahead and keep doing that. He even paused right there for a second. Not sure why. I think he got an automatic alert. Yeah, Xbox, if you guys get automatic alerts, back out of that and keep spamming and then let your friend know to back out. The automatic alerts will screw it up. All right, so go ahead and keep spamming right there. Now, BMX has just come back from the job, the car giver. He's going to go ahead and hop into the Cyclone. And there you go. The Cyclone now is in everyone's bunker. All right, just like that. So, as the car giver, if you're given the car, what you want to do is park your vehicle over here. Now, you're going to see, he was going to park it over there, but I let him know. It's much easier if you just park it right here. So, if you park it right over here, what that's going to do is, that's going to cause it so that when I get in that car, it's just going to suck me right into the MOC, right from there, okay? Make it really nice and easy for you guys. We're doing it in my live stream, all right? So, um, yeah, well, what I'm going to do now, remember, we're still in the car receiver's perspective. This is all me right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and request personal vehicle from my MOC. That is the RH8 that I have in there. Remember, RH8 or Fagio will, will work. You guys can all sign out of your MCs or, you know, CEOs. You don't really need them whatsoever. Just in case. I'm not sure if it screws anything up, but don't be signed in, you know, just in case. And, uh, yeah, so I just requested a personal vehicle from my MOC. That's going to be my RH8. This is the car we're riding over so that I can get that cyclone. So... Uh, the car giver, by the way, you saw how we were just in his bunker? Tell him to stay in his bunker, all right? The car giver needs to stay inside of his bunker because he's going to be the one triggering that ignition bomb, all right? So that's really important. Car giver, uh, BMX in this scenario, the person that just that's giving me the cyclone that we just glitched in there, he's just going to chill out in his bunker. Now, I have my RH8, car receiver. I'm driving into my bunker, all right? So I'm in my bunker now. I'm going to go ahead and open up my interaction menu and I'm going to invite Wise, the person that put the ignition bomb on the car, all right? Obviously, he can't get into his car and blow it up if, you know, it's if it's his ignition bomb, so somebody else has to get in it. Can't be me because I need to get the car. So, of course, process of elimination, it's the person giving the car, all right? So, I invited Wise over here, the person that put the ignition bomb on his pink elegy over there, you remember that? So now, Wise is going to be coming in here with me. He is friend two. So once friend two has, uh, you know, gotten into your bunker, he's going to be doing the simple, you know, hover over the uh, hover, hover over CEO retire, you know, thing. Now, friend two is going to have a little bit of a uh, needs to do a little bit of a thing first before he helps you guys get frozen. All right. What friend two is going to have to do is change his vehicle access. All right. He's just going to have to change it up temporarily. Uh, the way you do that is you put your you go to, you know, interaction menu, you go to vehicle. You want to set it to crew, then you back out of the interaction menu, and then you want to set it to everyone, all right? So, as you can see right here, Wise just spawned in. He's going to go ahead and do the vehicle access, sign in as a CEO, do all that stuff. Uh, so, right now, he's signing in as a CEO, and he's going to hover over retire. But before he does that, this is what you want to do. I'm going to show you guys on the main screen right here. Before he does that, he wants to do this. Open up the vehicle menu, go to crew, back out. Open up the vehicle menu again, go to everyone, back out. Now we are sure that the person going into the car with the ignition bomb is actually going to, you know, blow up and then sign in the CEO and hover over retire. All right. That's at the point we're at now. So we're back to my perspective right here. Car receiver. He's hovering over retire. Go ahead and let BMX, you know, the person given the car hop into the ignition bomb car. Looks like this. Boom. Just like that. So just like that, the MOC is frozen. I hit right, or the MOC is blown up. I hit right D-pad when he was hovering over retire. I'm frozen still right now. Go ahead and let your friend know that's in the car with you to just retire, all right? He has retired now. So he hops out of the car. Go ahead and let him know to start up a job, all right? That's friend two, the person that put the ignition bomb in that car. Start up a Titan of a job. Now, I'm waiting right now because I'm still frozen behind the MOC. I'm going to go to online and then players, and I'm going to go ahead and join him in a game. All right, so I hit join game, accept both alerts. You're going to get are you sure alert, and then you're going to get the session is private. Accept both. All right, so I've accepted both. It's going to shoot me back down. You can let him know he can back out of the job now. I can get out of the car. Now, the person giving the car, do the vehicle access trick again. You see, set it to crew, and then go back, set it to everyone, back out. There we go. So now I'm sure that the car is not bricked. I can hop into this cyclone. And now that I've hopped into the cyclone, it's going to suck me right into the MOC just like that. Simple as that, guys. 
It's not difficult. I know it's weird changing perspectives from one person to another, but just watch the video a few times. It's not super difficult, all right? It's just going into you know other people's bunkers, going into this guy's bunker. We go into everybody's bunker, basically, in this scenario. That's why I said it's better to have the same bunker. So uh, a trick that you can do once you've gotten the car into your MOC, press down on the D-pad, select a story mode character, back out of the alert, now you can safely drive out without getting caught on an infinite black loading screen. And then you can go ahead and go outside and change the plate. Once again, if you got a Benny's vehicle, you want to drive this over to Los Santos Customs and you want to change the plate to something, you know, one of your own personal custom plates. And then that's how you know you're going to be safe. And request your MOC so that you can drive it back in there. But guys, yeah, this really is not super difficult. Just make sure you follow the directions. Watch the video three, four, five times if you have to. Down in the comment section, get some reliable friends, all right? I'm going to put a pinned comment down there that says who wants to, you know, be friends and who wants to do this glitch together. I'm going to help you guys out for real on this video, all right? So trust me, do this glitch. It's not hard whatsoever. You just got to have an ignition bomb, no crazy guns and bunker, no nothing like that, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is Roll Easy. If you did enjoy it, make sure to slap that like button by pressing the blue thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new by hitting that big red button, and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.